Ladies and gentlemen, the moment that I've been waiting for at least. This <laughs> is a pretty fun box. It's empty. It's all black with some gold. I don't know, some fake gold thing. I don't know what it says. It says 14 and up. I'm 14 and up, so it'll be fine. No instructions whatsoever. So let's dig right in. We open and ooh, fancy packaging for sure. The COP 357, also 38 special. Cylinder release is the back, just so happens to be the back sight. Four barrels, technically semi-automatic, I don't know. You just pull the trigger and it shoots. Actually, look at it right there. This thing actually feels like it operates like the real COP 357, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you don't know, there's a rotating cylinder back here, which, you know, once you rotate it, it pushes the firing pin in front. That's actually really interesting. So it works just like the real 357. That's great. Uh, we have a speed loader of some sorts for a s revolver with six for some reason. Uh, did they get it confused? I mean, this thing has four barrels, not six. Is that bubble wrap? Anyway, so pretty simple to load. Pull on the back there. You load your four loaded things right there. This actually operates just like the revolver that I have, the 350, the Colt, the Python there. It's got the little things in there, the firing pin in the back. Just to shoot it. And this is like a pocket gun, so. Behold, mugger. Lovely. <laughs> and then, oh, eject shells by itself, too. Great. You could also just double barrel it, you know. Whenever you run out of ammunition, shoot the shells at them. There are two ways to load the little shells that you shoot. So first is the speed loader thing, which, you know, you just load your six cells, shells in with the springs facing upwards. And then you grab the second part of the speed loader, which is this thing right here, which you just set in like, oh, come on. There you go. You set it like that. Then you grab six of your little ammunitions or whatever these things are. I don't know what these darts, maybe? I don't, they're pieces of plastic. But you set them in with the uh, bulb or so facing upwards. And then the final part, you grab the third piece, just set it in there, squeeze it all together. This actually looks like a revolver cylinder, which is pretty cool. But you can see that it has all the things right there. Pull it out, and there you go. You got six loaded rounds for a four-shot revolver. Now the second way to load the shell is you just, you know, put it in there and just shove it in there, just like the actual larger revolver. For those of you wondering which revolver I'm talking about, I'm talking about the 357 here, not the white one. Uh, this is the scary, realistic one that you could probably rob a gas station with. Actually, I'm gonna go do that now. So anyway, with the uh, this revolver, is you grab the shell, you grab the little ammunition here, you just insert it, push it in the front. You don't actually have some fancy speed loader to do it for you, and it operates basically exactly like the 357. You just put it in there, and the little thing here strikes the firing, the firing pin on the hammer here strikes the little back of the. I guess that's a primer. Operates just like a real double action revolver, so you just shoot it. So both of these basically operate on the same principle. The spring and stuff is all in the shells, uh, where it shoots out the ammunition, and this thing just, you know, fires it. Both of these have firing pins. Uh, they both, you know, hold shells. They both eject shells. They both work just like real firearms, except the only difference is they're made of plastic. And, you know, this one is has six shots and has four, but it operates basically the exact, exact same way. If you guys want me to get a revolver just like this, but with a longer barrel so it looks cooler, make sure to try and support the channel if you can. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it'd be nice. Thank you. This is the Merrick, and I'll see you in the next video.